Hey guys, Kill Thornton here, back with another video. And today we're taking a look at another gaming mouse. This one's from Pulsar, recent release, and it's called the X Lite. Features a very lightweight construction, as well as that ergo shape, which is just two things we don't really see put together very often, so let's hop into it. In the box that's getting the mouse itself, there is actually some really welcomed inclusions here, um, those being grips, a pair of replacement skates, you also get a sticker, some instruction pamphlets, and something more unique, and I don't believe we've seen any other mouse companies do this before, is they actually include a little micro bungee, which can be like put on a monitor or something else near your mouse, which basically just acts as a bungee if you don't have a traditional one. So really cool to see that inclusion in here as well. Firstly, I just wanna to touch on the weight of it being that that's like one of their biggest like marketing components. I mean, the name literally X Lite, it's in the name of it itself. Um, weighing it on my scale, it only came out like at 50 grams, maybe 51 kind of maybe like went back and forth a little bit, but um, overall, I mean, the thing is really stinking light. And of course, the weirdest thing about it is like, we're used to seeing that lightweight on like a small ambi mouse, but with this one, I mean, we're looking at like a EC2 clone, a bigger ergo mouse. So like, it's very confusing at first because usually whenever you have an ergo mouse like this in your hand, you're expecting you know a little bit more weight behind it. So it is a very unique thing having this bigger shape with the lightweight behind it. And it's like weird, this new argument has come up now. Like everyone before it seemed like was like, get the mice as light as I can. Now everyone's like, is this too light? Um, for me personally, it's not an issue. Like I know people are saying like, it's so light to the point where when you want to move it a little bit, you end up moving it a lot because of how light it is. But for me, and like I always in my lightweight mice reviews if you can like stick out the awkwardness phase of like getting used to the lighter weight if you're just like your body and your muscle memory is used to a little bit heavier it's going to create just for a more fluid more flawless like going to translate straight from what you're thinking down into your hand you're going to be able to move the mouse so easy which is what i found with this obviously you kind of have to have a prerequisite for enjoying an ergo shape because you can't really get out of that on this it's just going to be ergo a bigger thing it's going to fill out your hand more going to more force you towards that palm and claw style grip but with that lightweight on this thing i think it feels great and I think they did a great job with balancing it as well. They weren't able to achieve that super lightweight, of course, without actually making like, you know, some compromises to the whole integrity of the actually being a solid shell. As you look around the shell of it, you'll notice there's a ton of cutouts on the side panels on the top, but it does stop towards like about the middle of the mouse. Actually, you get quite a bit of mouse one and two all solid, which is much appreciated. And then on the bottom is where the most unique part of it is. We don't really ever see mice do this, but it's very open. I mean, you can reach like literally right up to the PCB. So it's just weird having that so open down there. Then you kind of have these like support beams like running up to the sensor area towards the central part of the mouse and binding it all together and like the first thing like I wondered probably a lot of you guys wearing too just looking at this thing like does this thing like have any kind of like actual shell integrity to it and I was super surprised like as soon as I got it, it was one of the first things I wanted to try just because of how many holes there was in it but I'm um, squeezing on it a lot like I can maybe get a little creaking in it but I mean I'm putting a lot of pressure on this thing and for a mouse that basically has like no shell on the bottom. Super impressed with how rigid it is. You can definitely get some flex if you're like pushing in the middle of these beams right here and you can get a little bit of button activation, but obviously like who in the world's ever gonna do that? No one besides reviewers like me who are trying to push on it to get the build quality test of it. And it feels great. I mean, down the road, I don't see this thing breaking down anytime soon. It does feel extremely strong, which is pretty awesome to be able to say about a mouse that has this many holes in it. And just quickly touching on the actual cutouts, it's not your traditional honeycomb where you have like, you know, that more of like a hexagonal shape, like we're used to seeing with honeycomb cutouts. This is more of lines. And I have to say, I really enjoy this over the honeycomb cutouts because sometimes I find myself being really annoyed by those with my hands on the side of these cutouts, like my pinky or something will fall into it. If I'm trying to get up into that claw grip, but with these lines, it really doesn't happen. I find it just to be a lot more comfortable. So if honeycomb is something that normally like really bothers you, those cutouts, this is probably gonna be better for you as well. The stock cable that comes with the mouse itself is definitely not the best. If I had to compare it to like a cable, it really does remind me a lot of like a Razer Speedflex cable. A little bit thicker, um, not the most flexible um, in a bungee though, which is where I've had it like since I put it on my desk. Definitely passable. And again, they include that micro bungee in the box, which is pretty great to have because you're already getting a mouse that doesn't have the greatest cable. So definitely take advantage of that micro bungee if you already don't have like a normal bungee on your desk. And then it'll help get rid of any like the drag that this cable would normally cause if you just had it like laying flat on your mouse pad itself. I'm um, looking at the bottom of the mouse though, those skates on the bottom are white PTFE. And I have to say like pulling on the box, I was like, oh, these are pretty scratchy. Don't feel the best. They'll definitely break you know, after a few days, but like, I've been using it for like a week and a half, maybe two weeks now, I'm not sure. Um, pretty long time. I put a lot of hours on this mouse and these feet are still scratchy, which is kind of odd. I really did expect them to break in. In the box, they do include an extra pair of skates again. And those ones are actually thicker than the ones that are stock on the mouse itself. So. 
I haven't tried switching it out for those that might get rid of that scratchiness, but I would presume it'd probably be exactly the same. So the skates, definitely not a fan of those. I would definitely recommend replacing those if you are gonna pick this up because they're definitely not the best and they've just been scratchy for me and they has, still have not broken in. So I don't think they're gonna break in, you know, like a month down the road or something like that. For the sensor though, we are actually seeing the newer Pixar 3370 sensor um, in here. So that's gonna give you up to 20K DPI adjustment, which does have to be do done in the software itself for the lack of a DPI button on the mouse. And then also, of course, we expect a thousand hertz pulling rate. So far, the sensor's been spot on for me and I expect it to be the same for you. The shape on the x Lite, which I've already touched on before, is that full ergo shape, but it's inspired from the EC2, which I've never personally had my hands on, but obviously like, uh, seems like all the mice in today's market are based off of a predator Assessor or a previous mouse and this is the same case for this one so if you've used that shape before or the EC2 itself it's gonna feel very similar to that and it is an ergo mouse so it's gonna be aimed towards palm grip um, maybe claw grip depending on how big your hand is I get into a claw on this but I usually like in a relaxed claw to a palm style grip as that's just what it leans itself towards being that ergo shape um, it's gonna be good for those of you that like that and I would say like the weight of it really does play into the shape because again like normally when you have your hand on an ergo mouse you're just expecting a more like a brick or a heavier mouse but with this being the lightweight just makes for a really like cozy nice feeling experience would i take it over a medium sized ambi shaped mouse for gaming i would say not really i feel like you get more out of that when you're in a game versus an ergo shape like this but um, as far as productivity goes or editing videos i mean i absolutely love this thing it feels really nice super light easy to move around comfortable on the hand it's not like you're you know up in a claw grip or something really cramping down on like a small mouse so for that i really enjoy it i think it's going to be more aimed towards like more of a specific market there it's going to be meant for those of you who love the ergo shape but want that lighter weight in there so for those of you looking for that this definitely delivers well in that department you do only get five different programmable buttons on the x light and again that's because you don't get a dedicated dpi button for changing that up on the fly so if you're someone who likes to switch between your dpi like on the go then you're gonna have to hop into that software every time so if that's gonna be an issue for you then you might not want to pick this up for that reason but um it's easy you can go on there set your dpi and you can just completely get rid of the software and it will keep it on that dpi stage for you if that's what you want to do um, as far as the rest of the buttons go though, I've been really happy with them. Very little pre or post as well as side to side play in them. And then of course, since it is an ergo mouse, you're gonna get those bigger, more chunky side buttons, which I personally really enjoy. And for mouse one and two, they are gonna be using Omron 20Ms, which aren't the best feeling, but for what they are, I think they did a pretty good job of implementing them in here. And on the scroll wheel itself, it's 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 okay. It's pretty loosely tensioned, but the steps are still there. And then if depressing it is also pretty easy. So for those of you who like tying things to your scroll, it should be any issue for that. I'll go ahead and throw you guys into a sound test now though so you can hear it for yourselves. Just quickly covering the software here, you're gonna be able to set different profiles, reassign buttons, uh, set up to seven different DPI stages, such as sensitivity, your scrolling speed, double clicking, debounce time, lift up distance, record macros, so all the basic things you'd expect to find there. And it's packed into a pretty easy to access format, so I've had no issues with the software so far. As of right now, they're selling the X Lite on Amazon and also their own website for $60 right now. I'll have a link in the description down below if you guys wanna go check that out or see if there's any updated pricing on that. Of course though, the the, the question about it is, you know, is it worth that price? Is it worth that? $60 and I would say yes and no. Of course, that's not the answer you guys are probably looking for, but I would say yes to those of you who want that ergo mouse, want that lightweight. This definitely does deliver really well in that department and it's gonna be great for those of you that are looking for that. But I would say for like a more general audience, I would say just shoot for like a more medium size ambi mouse. I feel like this is gonna better serve you in gaming in general. I can think of other ones like such as the Pulse Fire Haze, the Burst Pro, on um, the Extrify M42. I mean, there's just a few options there there's, there's been so many mice released like in this past year that have been absolutely great. And not only are those gonna be, you know, open you up to more like grips types and stuff, just being that medium ambi, you're also probably gonna get like a better stock cable. You're gonna get a better stock skates as well. And it's just gonna give you more opportunity with that shape versus this ergo. But I do, I'm not trying to say the x Lite's bad by any means, of course. I think it's a great mouse. I think their implementation of it was very good. And I'm looking forward to what they do in the future. But I think it's just serving a more specific audience. So if you are that person that loves the ergo shape, wants that lightweight, then I would definitely recommend this to you. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. Hit that like button if you did enjoy, and please do hit that subscribe button for more content just like this in the very near future, but I'll see you guys in the next one.